Oh man, Coach C is early. Got to clean up this mess, guys. Come on. Coach is here. <laughs> All right, I got to be on my best behavior now. <laughs> he's got he's got the coaching visor on. He's ready. <laughs> get to work, fellas. Let's get to work. <laughs> All right, making his Sons of Montezuma podcast debut. If you've been watching any of our YouTube videos and our Sons of Montezuma film room, you know who Coach C is. Coach Carrasco, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, man, just trying to keep up with the young ones at the gym, man, and eat right. And don't get old, <laughs> gentlemen. Don't get old. <laughs> Gee whiz, look at a cheeseburger and you gain two pounds. Can't even enjoy it no more. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I always joke with Coach C because, man, you don't age, dude. Shut up. <laughs> I, I've watched so many of the football videos, I would have assumed that he was been on here with us before. Like, I know. I just I was thinking about that when he was doing the introduction. I was like, haven't we? Hasn't he been on here before? <laughs> nah, this is a pleasure. Well, the videos have been a lot of fun to make. We've been making them during the season every week. We give a, a little bit of a, a highlight recap or look ahead to our opponent, and we just try to break down from a coach's perspective some things to look out for. But, uh, man, we wanted to bring you in specifically specifically for one player, right, because the Aztecs, the, the big thing was bringing in a quarterback, and we brought a transfer in, a big transfer, mm -hmm. Braxton Burmeister. So we just got off talking with uh, a good buddy of ours, Ruben, who follows the local high school scene, who he saw Braxton, you know, as a, as a high schooler. Then he goes away to Oregon, goes to Virginia Tech. And now he's coming back full circle back to San Diego to open up the Snapdragon Stadium. So from a coach's perspective, man, you know, there's the big question is, will Haskell going to get the, the start this coming season or now is Braxton Burmeister coming in so the competition is going to be fun but what do you see from Braxton what does his game bring that you know us Aztecs fans are going to be excited about well everybody in the country it's been the invoke thing you're trying to find that two-edged sore the guy that can kill you with your legs can kill you with your arm um, and some guys how much can they kill you with their legs are they just the move the chain kind of a guy take advantage of this are they a home run hitter with their legs? Braxton has that home run ability with his legs because he's fast. He's just really, really fast. And that's what Haskell has too. Haskell is just a just athlete just jumps out of the screen when you watch a young cat like Haskell and all that. And Braxton has that too. What I like about Braxton's game, you definitely see the different tiers in his throws. And what I mean by that, there's different tiers, tier one, tier two, tier three. Tier three is, can he put some arch on that ball? give it a soft touch on the deep throws, throw a good fade, give the receiver a good chance to, to make a play on the ball, put it on the outside shoulder. How is he in the fades? How is he on the deep balls when there's two safeties or safety in a corner trying to bracket the guy? Can he fit it in when he needs to? And then you tier twos where he really has to fit it in with the dig routes, the curl routes, you know, really beat the coverage with his arm. And Braxton showcases that too, you know? And then at the same time, can he take advantage when the coverage drops too deep does he know how to check it down uh, on, a, on a quick read, let his running backs get to work and move chains for the offense? And Braxton really shows a lot of that. The main thing for a young quarterback, and it's the hardest thing for high school quarterbacks, can you handle the pocket? Can you handle the huddle? Can you handle, handle the team? And can you make the correct adjustments on pass protection? Pass pro is a gauntlet for young cats, a gauntlet. It's hard because – for the first time now at the D1 level, you got defensive coordinators. They're throwing an under front at you. They're throwing an over front. They're bringing two gap A pressure on you guys, mugging with, with two linebackers. What are you going to do with that quarterback? If you're on the short side of the field or at the boundary, meaning you're at the left hash and you're by the sideline, are you aware of that corner coming? You know what I mean? <laughs> do you have the mindset that cannot just stare about thinking about your play do you have the ability to say, all right, I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what adjustments, but if they show me this, am I the kind of quarterback at this level that can say, you know, whoa, whoa, check, check, check. Let me change my protections so I can buy time for my receiver to develop his route and get it to him. That's a whole lot of information yeah. for a young guy to get to that level. You yeah. know, so Braxton, I think he can bring that. You see some of his throws, you see some of the reads that he makes. And um, it's, it's, it's exciting to watch. That's for sure. 
No, I actually thought that was actually really interesting the way you broke it down into the three tiers. Um, well, from what you've seen, what is a strength throwing the ball from a tier standpoint? It, is it more trying to use his arm strength and rifle it in in a curl to, to beat the coverage? Is it, or is it more, you know, putting using that touch and getting throwing a fade? Yeah, that's a good question. He he throws a natural deep ball. It's really. Cool.